So I'm priming the eyelids with the Naked Skin Concealer from Urban Decay in color Light Warm. I'll be setting it up lightly with the Airbrush Flawless Finish from Charlotte Tilbury. I'll be taking the color Dawn on a fluffy brush and I'll be putting it under my on my crease. I'll be using that as a transition shade. Next, I'll be going to my favorite color, which is All Star, which is this beautiful wine, purpley grape color, which I absolutely love. So I'll be taking on a synthetic brush. Um, I find this sh shade blends really well, so I'm going a little bit messy right now just under in my crease and then I'll be blending but I want the major impact in my crease okay now that I put all the color mainly in the crease now I'm starting to blend a little bit higher with the same brush now I'm just trying to match the the shape a little bit so this is gonna take a little bit long because I just had to be blending. Next, I'll be putting this same eyeshadow all over my lid and I'll be using the same brush, but just putting it all over my lid in tapping motions. I think I can go a little bit more intense on the lid. All right, so I, I don't want to add more color to the crease, at least for now. So I'll be blending on a crease brush, the one that we were using with Dawn, which it was my transition transition shade. So I'll just be blending for a while. I might cut a little bit of that footage because it's going to take me a little bit long. And I'll be blending this eyeshadow color. And I'm taking long, not necessarily because the eyeshadow doesn't blend. It's mainly because it's very pigmented and I'm being very careful on how to do it so maybe you're more experienced it might take you less time but for now I'll be taking my sweet time <laughs> All right, I think I'm done blending for now. Uh, but now I'm gonna be putting this color Cure. Go like that and go over my lid. 
I think it works best whenever you wet your brush but right now as I said uh, I don't have a setting spray so I'll be putting it with my finger so it's just gonna take me a little bit long to to intensify this color but can you see the difference now that I put that duochrome Alright, so I think that's intensity that I like for the eyeshadow so far. We might need to go a little bit and blend more, but for now, let's leave it there. Let's move to the face. I didn't get any fallout, I don't think so, or at least I don't see any. But I'll still gonna clean it just in case. I'm gonna apply just a little bit of foundation. Uh, I think my skin for now is a little bit good. It's not too bad, so I'm just gonna go a little bit. And I'm gonna be using the Magic Foundation from Charlotte Tilbury. And I'm gonna be using my Marc Jacobs face brush. Face number two, in case you're curious. All right, and I'm just gonna dot one here, here, one dot on my forehead, and a couple of dots on, on, my, on my chin, and around the mustache area. Okay, and now I'm gonna blend. I find this coverage to be buildable, maybe a uh, light medium to a full coverage for sure you can do it, but I like it very lightly to just even on even up my skin tone. So that's for the foundations. So you can see a couple of my breakouts or spots under my sh on my chin. But I think that's it. But I don't really mind. And I know it's a little bit light. Right now it looks on camera a tad too light, but in person it doesn't look that bad. Well, it doesn't look bad at all. <laughs> all right, next, uh, some concealer. I'll be using the Charlotte Tilbury Retoucher in number three, medium. So I'll be using it under my eye. On my right here in my forehead just on the middle and a little bit here to cover those breakouts a little bit under my mouth because I have some darkness there and I'm gonna blend with my finger Now I'm gonna set up my face with the same powder we use for the eyelid, which is the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush finish. It's very lightly. I don't, I don't mind a couple of shine go through, and actually this foundation looks really good with some shine already. So under my eye. So I think that's it, just a little bit of powder. And to bronze, I'm gonna be using the Charlotte Tilbury Contour One in color medium, fur medium. I love this product, this is really easy to use. Oh, so I'm just going a little bit there. Just there, couple strokes there. Okay, so this is where I like to contour, not too much. It goes, this product goes a long way. A little bit under my chin, under my neck. Just a little bit. 
I'm sure the one squish a little bit on for this product and it gives you a lot so don't go too crazy <laughs> and to blend I'm using the shape from Marc Jacobs this is also like a synthetic brush so I'll just be blending and I'm going kind of like in tapping motions and a little bit of strokes but whenever I stroke I don't go too harsh because I don't want to move the foundation Though I don't find that it moves but still just in case just tapping this is where I like to put bronzer a little bit here I don't like putting it under on my forehead I like it on my sides and bring it up on my temple I, I feel it works really well for my face shape Okay, here I do go kind of like on swiping motions. <laughs> okay. Sorry, I blocked you there. And now let's go to this one. Kind of tapping and swiping. Swiping on my ear. Then I'm gonna go again with another Charlotte Tilbury product. This is actually new. It came on the last year for the Nordstrom anniversary sale. It was an exclusive to Nordstrom. So this duo came and now it's out on regular Charlotte Tilbury website in case you wanna grab it. I'm gonna go with a dual fiber brush because I don't like too much blush on me. Tap it just on my apple apple of the cheeks let's move on to the eyes on a pencil brush i'll be taking all star which is this beautiful color which we use all over the lid and on the crease i'm just gonna go lightly tap and i'm gonna go under my eye On a blender brush, I'll be using Roxy very lightly because it's pretty pigmented. And I'll be using it to blend under my eye. And I'm bringing a little bit down. Next, I'll be using on a dome brush, synthetic. I'm gonna be using Rowdy, which is this beautiful purple like eggplant color uh, just very little lightly and I'm gonna be putting it under my eye but on the outer kind of like if it was on an eyeliner I don't want to bring it too down next um I'm gonna do off camera my eyebrows and I'm gonna put eyeliner, mascara, and we'll be back for lips and highlights. So, all right. Uh, so, for my eyebrows, I use the chocolate brownie uh, from Too Faced in color dark, deep brown. Uh, for mascara, I use the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. And for eyeliner, I use the Stila eyeliner, liquid eyeliner. Uh, now, let's move to the lips. Because I am living the best part for the end. <laughs> for lips, I'll be using Christmas Cookie from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. I love this color.
I love this color. And it dries even better. So can't wait for it to dry. All right, the best part, ah, the highlighter. This is the new Too Faced Diamond highlighter. Besides being super cute, the packaging, I actually really like it. So we're gonna be using this one to highlight our face and, well, my face, not our, my face, and inner corner and brow bone. So I'll be using a fluffy brush from Zoeva. And I'll be using the camera mirror, I guess, or the viewfinder. Look at that. There's a lot over there. You, it can look super intense, but if you blend it, it looks very pretty. Okay. All right. For my inner corner, a uh, smaller pencil. It goes really well with this color uh, of eyelid. A little bit more under my brow bone. A little bit more. All right, so that's it for my birthday makeup look. I wanted to go for this palette and because of this eyeshadow look, it's probably one of my favorites. It makes me feel comfortable. I love purple and I think this kind of like wine color is such different and it makes me look, or it makes me feel sophisticated. <laughs> um, I also love this highlight, which it was so cool that it came out just before my birthday so I could wear it. I really like it. I hope you like this makeup look. It's also very easy. Uh, Cause I don't have time because I have other stuff, better stuff to do for my birthday. So I definitely want to something also easy. And that's it, it makes me feel pretty. And I hope you enjoyed this makeup look. Give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.